Hi, good morning. TBC here. Now, over the last couple of weeks, sorry about the sun, we've had a few posts on Facebook, hello, meet Shadia Law, Islamic terrorists. Um, now, the problem you see is many people are afraid of expressing their opinions because they might be labelled or they might be judged yeah now although how as a, an English Muslim of Pakistani descent you know families from Pakistan and um, I was born and brought up here so I'm not British I'm English and I'm a Muslim and I'm proud of it both of them being English Muslim and Pakistani although I do disagree with certain ways that Muslims are being treated here if Subway wants to serve halal meat, it's fine, it's good, it's great, it's, it's equal opportunities for them, but they shouldn't stop serving bacon or pork, because Muslims weren't here before, you see? We came here a bit later, if that makes sense. So, it's a bit like going to someone's house and saying, I don't drink, so therefore you don't drink. Well, not really, it's their house, it's their rules, is what they do. If you don't like drink, don't go to the house. So if you don't like bacon or pork, because you don't, because it's a religion, or a religious thing, or personal preference, then don't go there. Simple, really. Eat fish. I love chicken, as you can see. I love meat. But I wouldn't necessarily get upset if my local KFC doesn't serve halal chicken. I'll just go on the interweb and Google Hello KFC, one by Stanford Bridge, one in Green Street, uh, Walthamstow, so there's three already, and go there, and if you can't be bothered to go all that way for a KFC, then don't bother wanting a KFC at all. I'm saying that there are many places where halal meat is freely available, restaurants, and they wouldn't necessarily serve bacon or pork because their cultural dishes don't contain bacon or pork i.e. curries Thai curry, Indian curry, Chinese curry, things like that um, so yeah that's my whole spin on the halal business um, Muslims out there, you're listening if a place doesn't serve halal chicken, halal beef, halal lamb and for the dumb Muslims halal pork don't worry about it, it's not the end of the world. You'll know if it was the end of the world. Um, now, Sharia law can't be installed in this country. This country has its own law enforcements in place, rules, regulations, so it can't be put here. If you want to enforce Sharia law in your own house, fine, you do that because whatever goes in your home is up to you but you can't spill it out on the street okay if you really want to live by Sharia law then go to Saudi Arabia they live by Sharia law and I'm pretty sure you'd like it because you probably moan about the weather it's quite hot there as well all year round and they serve halal meat so Sharia law it can't be opposed or it can't be enforced here we have our own government and if you still if not just Muslims anyone who don't like the way of life here in England who asked you to come you know you know where the airport is you know what a parcel is and I'm pretty sure you know how to pack a suitcase so those three things airport passport suitcase you know what I'm saying we're English well I'm English this is my country, this is my home, I'm proud of it, it's not the best country in the world to other people, for me it is. We do our things, you know, we wear a poppy with pride, we have our St George's Cross flying. I mean, the St George's Cross is flying, will be, uh, St George's Cross will be flying for the next six weeks after, as the World Cup comes, so what are you Muslims out there who are offended by the flag, what are you going to do during the World Cup? Stay at home and lock yourself in? Not possible. There are some things that other cultures or other people do that offend me, 
are you wearing an Arsenal shirt? But I don't lock myself in or, or look away, I just point and laugh. Because, quite frankly, an Arsenal shirt is quite funny, isn't it? Uh, much like a Liverpool shirt. Sorry, slip of the tongue. Anyway, so, Muslims out there, be proper Muslims. Accept the fact there's no halal meat available for you to eat. It's not the end of the world. You want Sharia law? Go to a country where there's Sharia law. If something offends you or you don't like it, either learn to accept it or go somewhere where things are done the way you like it, the way you can accept your life or way of life. It's fair, it's simple, it doesn't hurt anyone and you won't be the ridicule of people. And so, that was close, been almost went in front of my car. So, that is the end of today's sermon. I bid you all a good day and whatever you do, do it properly, do it nicely and don't upset anyone with your opinions or beliefs and just be good to one another. Yes, be good.